Okay, first step going to snap configured from tables model. Mm -hmm. So why we are not getting this? Uh, when we are working with the payroll module most of the setups whatever we do we'll do it at what level legislative data group we'll choose the legislative data group for example right now we are configuring the payroll calendar nothing but a payroll definitions we specified its monthly payroll and we got uh, set details cut off date date and the payroll run date date paid slip availability all these cutoff dates, uh, details we have specified. And after that, uh, while finishing this particular task, uh, system is asking us cost account, suspense, and default account. Generally, uh, this accounts will be populated and we used to configure. This is basically its cost accounting uh, key flex fit. But right now, this is uh, disabled. I'm not able to see that uh, cost account uh, key flex field is populated here. And the suspense account or default account. So, where will be the issue? Is let me just go back to our uh, FSM environment. Let's go to the task here legislative data group. Manage legislative data groups. And we have to search for the LDZ, whatever we are using. Right now, we are working for. Uh, U.S. Legislative Data Group. Yeah. While defining this Legislative Data Group, we specified only currency and the country, but we have not specified cost allocation structure. This cost allocation structure is not configured. It's basically a replica of accounting key flux field. In Fusion Financials, we will have an uh, accounting key flux field. From there, we'll try to derive the segments and configure the payroll cost allocation structure. Okay. But right now, since we do not have any cost allocation uh, key flux fields uh, structure here, let me just go for uh, search. Uh, we don't have any fields, no rows to display. So we have to find out, let me just configure one now. Uh, cost allocation structure and do that. As I said, it is one of the key flux field. Do we find this? We have to go for uh, key flux fields. And do it from implementation project. Or let's do it from here. allocation key flux field. choose this we have around 11 key flux fields in uh, fusion cloud erp product in financials we have accounting key flux fields fixed assets module we have a couple of three key flux fields when it comes to human capital management there are two key flux fields one is uh, people group key flux field another one is uh, cost allocation key flux field. so i'm selecting for which legislative data group you are trying to configure this now we are working for us us legislative data this is the key flux field it's a group of segments key flux field is not something you know it's a group of segments to maintain the information in a code language from going to use click structures button click search would see that this one uh, structure defined already. But when I go for edit, here it's not enabled. In fact, we do not have any segments. We do not have any segments. Let's go for enable this structure. And it's delimited with the hyphen symbol internally. I just wanted to have only three segments here.
about what level you want to display this particular segment company. Right now we are working with payroll definition, right? You can enable this particular segment at payroll definition level. So while configuring the payroll, it will ask us uh, the payroll definition. That's how it will work here. Yeah? And go for it, save and close. Pin and account, both are mandatory, mandatory segments. Configured structure. Let's go for defined structure instance. Nothing but alias name for our structure. They said uh, structure is a group of uh, segments. Right here are two segments here. Let's go for save. And we have to make segments are mandatory here. Let's go for check the checkbox, required checkbox. Configure the flux field. So what system is trying to do is whatever structure we have defined, but a group of segments that it's trying to modify and let it define the instance. Let's go for click done button. Now cost allocation key flux field structure defined successfully over here. Successfully it's defined here. We'll go for attach this to the legislative data. Let's go to that task here, legislative data group. how LDZ, let me just search. Let's go for edit this legislative data too. And I'm trying to attach our cost allocation structure. Now we defined having two segments. Structure is nothing but a group of segments. Segments is indirectly it's a columns. Generally, if we take any page, there will be some fields. We'll enter the information and we'll save it. Same thing, segments also. But segments will have some specific meaning and also there will be some code which is used to maintain the security. So it comes under the flex fields mainly. We'll talk about that in depth in the flex fields point. Right now, what happened? What was the issue while configuring the payroll definition? We are not getting the cost center information and also we are not getting the suspense account details. Okay, so while running the payroll, we'll get a warning uh, information. It's saying that the cost account is not configured properly at the time of defining the payroll definition. So that's the reason we are trying to uh, do that here. So what we have done right now, we configured our payroll costing structure and that we have assigned to legislative data. Now let's go for payroll definition. And choose your legislative data group here. Go to payroll definitions. While configuring the payroll, mainly we'll choose consolidation group. It's mandatory and configure the duration, monthly calendar. And choose the ledger.
then let's go for configure first period end date. I'm going to say that January 2024, 31st. And how about organization payment method here? I'm going to select. We'll go for specify offset details and number of years you want to use this payroll. Let me just choose. It takes by default end of the period. The period we got it here. Payroll periods got here. Now I can see that here in the cost account, we got company and this account combination. So whatever the values uh, required, like I'm selecting the company as so this, this all comes as a value set. You can go for choose that a value set here and choose the set here, cost. So why the costing or accounting is required for the payroll module is uh, we are running the payroll. We are going to get a result and we'll pay the salaries to the employees. So for that, we are getting an expense salary expenditure. So all these salary accounts, finally, once we generate, we need to transfer to general ledger mark for transfer this information to GL mark. And this will go for configure the payroll cost account as well as the suspension. This is about uh, costing account key flex field. In payroll module, there is a key flex field called cost allocation key flex field that we have to configure at LDC level so that when we are defining the payroll definitions or element level, we'll be able to get this structure segments and we'll be able to follow it okay i can see that it's legislative data us legislative data search button Role definition starts with Sony 8. Okay. So this is about uh, the, uh, the issue when we are working with uh, payroll in case if the accounts are not populated. Okay. We'll see that key flux will later. Okay. Yeah. Any doubts here?